how the process monitor works. This is an example screen. Towards the end of the, the talk here today, we'll show a live demo, but this, this gives the idea of what, what happened. Over in this section on the, on the left here, these are different orders, or they could be batches. Or in this case, this, this is a batch of chemical that's being made. And down below are all the different parameters that are associated with an order. An order that has a, a bell on the side, or a red bell, indicates that there is an alarm. And then down below, it'll show the different parameters that are in the line. So in this case, production wasn't very good. If you come in and see this, and there's quite a few bells over here, you know that there, there are some issues. So in this case, uh, the parameter that's highlighted is this A feed. We'll talk about the process that's happening a little bit earlier or a little bit later here. But over in this top right section is each one of these dots is the value of the A feed, it's the median flow value for that A feed for each one of these batches. And you can see in this case, this batch was significantly different. The median value is close to zero. And if you look down here below it, this is a time trace for that A feed over the time that that batch was made. So up here, it's the single statistic that shows, in this case, the median value of the A flow. But here's a time trace for each or four different batches. And it's pretty obvious here on this blue batch, something is quite different than normal. These other three, there's a, a red, a green, and a black, and they're all hovering right around 0.25 kilograms per minute or whatever the flow rate values are. But in this case, this one dropped down to zero. So it's just a quick way to, to show that for this batch, there's an alarm, and you go over to the parameter here, the median of A feed, and it quickly shows what's abnormal, so you know to go check out basically what's going on with the A feed. 